Squire Creek, Louisiana Peach Festival. Comes around the fourth weekend of June every year. It's a great time in Russell, Louisiana. We celebrate some of the sweetest produce you'll find in Louisiana or across the South. What are some of the events that will take place during the Peach Festival? You know, this is, a, this is a festival that has a little bit for everybody. Everything from adult fishing tournament to kids fishing tournament. Uh, a run, a walk, a parade. Uh, we have uh, rides for kids. We have uh, entertainment. Sammy Kershaw will be in uh, concert on Saturday night. Just a little bit of everything for everybody. If you're into arts and crafts, hey, there's an arts and crafts show. If you just want to come look around and, and see different vendors and their booths, what they're having to sell, we have those too. How did the Peach Festival get started? You know, a lot of years ago, whenever there was more peach farmers here in Lincoln Parish than there are now, uh, that was a, a big thing to have some kind of a festival to talk about this huge crop that we have here in Lincoln Parish. So all the growers got together and, and put together the Louisiana Peach Festival. Uh, it is the longest running uh, commodity festival in the state of Louisiana. Tell us how important are peaches to the economy of uh, North Louisiana? You know, anytime you travel, even down through South Louisiana during this time of the year, you'll see signs on the road, Ruston Peaches. Uh, they're not only to Lincoln Parish, but the peaches are important across the state. It's something that people have become to uh, come to know and love in Louisiana are the peaches from here. It has a huge economic impact. We have an awful lot of people that not only come to the festival, but throughout the peach season come here to buy peaches one-on-one uh, -on -one out at the peach farms. You have a tradition of uh, peach ice cream, and uh, tell us a little bit about that and who's going to make the peach ice cream this year. Well, this year at the Peach Festival, uh, there's a local sorority that always sells peach ice cream, and uh, they've actually worked out a deal with Blue Bell Ice Cream to sell something called Peachy Peach Ice Cream. In past years, Louisiana Tech Dairy made a peach, uh, homemade peach ice cream using locally grown peaches. Uh, due to budget cuts, that's no longer possible, but we'll still have great peach ice cream at the Peach Festival this year. What's your favorite part of the festival? Well, people. Just seeing all the people. I could just sit there, maybe at the fountain down at Railroad Park, and just watching people go by, having fun. As long as they're having a good time, uh, I think it's a great festival. Hi, my name is Corey Carlson. I'm a professional artist here in Ruston, Louisiana, and I will be showing my work at the uh, Squire Creek, Louisiana Peach Festival uh, at the end of June. Tell us uh, what's behind you right now. Uh, this is a piece that I uh, actually uh, went down to the uh, Chafalaya and photographed um, and was really inspired by the uh, old growth cypress trees uh, and the beautiful light coming through on the Spanish moss and wanted to really capture that, that sense of, of the sunset coming through on the water um, along with the, you know, the ducks taking off and capture the, the, the essence um, of Louisiana. What's it like to, uh, to become an artist in Louisiana and to have so much uh, imagery to paint? Uh, the inspiration here is, is uh, astounding. I mean, there, there are so many different things um, to photograph, to see. For instance, the ducks, I, I love the way the light reflects across their, the backs of their wings and lighting up the, the colors and their feathers. How long does it take you to, to, to make a painting like this? Uh, a piece like this took a um, couple of weeks. Take us through the individual uh, segments of your painting. Uh, over here I have the, uh, the Spanish moss and I, I've always loved the way the light reflects through the Spanish moss and so I really wanted to, to show that and then the way the light hits the, the old growth cypress trees um, and then also uh, if you notice over here, I put in a, an alligator. Tell me about your trip to the Chafalaya and uh, what you were able to get out from it. I really enjoyed getting out there. I spent, I spent a couple of days just out there in, through the Chafalaya, um, going through on boats and, and just really taking hundreds of photographs, at, and, uh, including the, the tricolored heron, uh, or also known as the Louisiana heron. Um, the, the sunset out there was, was beautiful that night and the way the, the light reflected on the water and, and also even on the, on the Spanish moss and the light and like you can see here the little um, highlight that I painted in of, of the light just reflecting off across the water. 
What advice would you have for uh, young people that would like to become an artist someday, or adults that would like to become an artist? My best advice for somebody that wanted to, to paint wildlife or, or the natural world is get out there, see it, see the, see the world, um, even more, more so than just photography. Uh, the photographs do tend to distort the pictures. Uh, for instance, in a photograph, the shadows typically come out really dark. Uh, whereas in the natural world, uh, shadows are transparent. So get out there, see, see the natural world. Corey, tell us, what are we looking at now? This is another one of my pieces uh, titled Summer Fun. Uh, this one here is one that I, I actually saw these bears in Yellowstone last year uh, and really enjoyed watching the cubs at play. Uh, this piece here has actually been made into a jigsaw puzzle. How is it made into a jigsaw puzzle? Uh, I have a licensing agency that represents me, and they, they license my work out onto various uh, products, uh, including puzzles. Uh, in fact, this is a, a, another one of the jigsaw puzzles that uh, my work been, has been used on. Um, and you photograph those tigers? Uh, yes, I photographed these tigers. Uh, the tigers were actually photographed at a wildlife preserve uh, up in Montana. Um, they actually let me uh, in the enclosure with them and got to spend, uh, spend the day uh, with, the, you know, with the tiger and, and photograph them. If people would like to see some of your work or talk to you about art, will you be available at the Peach Festival? Yes, I, I will be available. I will be uh, talking to people while I'm there, yeah. What do you enjoy the most about art? Uh, my most inspiration is getting out in the field, uh, seeing the animals, um, experiencing it, um, and the, the natural world. Um, that's, that's the biggest inspiration for me. How long did it take you to paint the bears? Uh, this piece here was a little more complicated. Um, it, this took uh, probably about two weeks or so. I look forward to seeing you at this year's Peach Festival. Hi, my name is Laura Glenn Carlson, and I'm a professional jewelry artist, and I'm also a native of Ruston. I've been making jewelry for over 18 years, and one of my favorite stones to work with is actually Louisiana opal. And did you know that we have a gemstone unique to Louisiana? Louisiana opal is only found in our state. It's found around Vernon Parish and along the Toledo Bend area. Um, it was mined for a few years, but the mine has been closed for a number of years. So there's a limited quantity of it available. But it's one of the most unique opals in the world. It actually forms in a quartz matrix, which is very unusual. And as you can see, it comes in different colors. Some of it is dark gray. Others uh, have a beautiful purple hue and sheen. And if you look deep into the stone, you can see different colors. You'll see flecks of um, green, red, and even purple and blue. Louisiana opal is actually one of my favorite stones to work with. I enjoy you know, sharing the stone with other people. And, uh, you know, most people do not realize that we have a gemstone unique to our state and we're always interested to learn a little bit about this piece of unique natural history for Louisiana. Take us through the process step by step on how you made that particular piece of jewelry. This, this piece of um, Louisiana opal is actually made with sterling silver. And all of this particular piece of jewelry um, started off with, with just a, a loop of sterling silver wire and I used different hand tools to bend the wire and to shape it around the stone and I always try to work with the, with the stone and create a, a fluid organic design that, that complements and works with the stone. And I chose to accent the Louisiana opal with an amethyst. This particular piece of Louisiana opal has, um, has a beautiful purple sheen to it and I, I thought that the I really liked the way the amethyst complemented the purple in the Louisiana opal. In this particular necklace, it, all of the links are handmade. Um, I design and create each one of the links, and my inspiration for this particular style of chain was actually just watching the, the flowing, flowing water. Um, I get a lot of my, gain a lot of my inspiration for my pieces um, from, from watching nature, from watching how uh, trees and leaves grow and, and the shapes of clouds and nature is just a constant inspiration of, of beautiful shapes and designs. And these are some of the uh, tools that I use, just some uh, simple hand tools. And actually the technique, this technique of making jewelry is one of the most ancient 
techniques of, of jewelry making. It was uh, used by the ancient ancient Egyptians and um, most most cultures throughout the world uh, have have made jewelry with wire for thousands of years. What's the difference between handmade jewelry and jewelry that you can buy at any store? The handmade jewelry just has a special and unique unique feel to it. Um, the you know the designs or something that are just different that the technique that I use there's there's no way it could be machine made and it just uh, has a particular look and feel and a you know and a special quality. Tell us your earliest memories of the Peace Festival. Oh wow I've attended the Peach Festival since I was probably a baby. I remember going when I was a small child. I've always loved animals and always entered the always looked forward to entering the, the pet show every year and and uh, dressing my particular dog or goat or whatever pet I had that year for the festival in, in a costume. That was one of my favorite memories and of course the peach ice cream is fantastic and I always enjoyed the arts and crafts show as well and then the parade parades were always a lot of fun so I have at least 40 peach festivals <laughs> that I've participated in. What's your favorite part of the festival now? Uh, well, I really enjoy the arts and crafts festival. Um, you know, being a Ruston native, you know, I see a lot of a lot of people that I know, and then it's great to meet other folks from different parts of the state. And I'm always thrilled when we have people from uh, you know South Louisiana and Mississippi, and we've even had a number of people from East Texas and Arkansas that that come, and they've purchase my jewelry and they're just really uh, enjoying their day in Ruston and um, you know it's just great to see everyone out and having a having a good time. And this year it's going to be interesting because the parade theme is basically a peach party or a beach party and uh, there are the JCs are putting this thing together and they're living up to that theme so uh, it could be interesting to see what we have on top of those uh, trailers and those floats but uh, that should be fun. Sammy Kershaw on Saturday night should be great. Something we've not had here in, in quite a while is some uh, Cajun Zydeco, and we've got that on Friday night with Chubby Carrier. Uh, I think this is just going to be an exciting peach festival. We know that we've had people come from three, four, five states away for the peach festival. We get inquiries beginning the first of the year wanting to know when's it going to be held, what activities are going to be there. So we've got a great website, www.louisianapeachfestival.org. You can go to that site and see all the activities, what day they're going to take place, what time. Um, people, are, like I say, from all over go to that website and they take a look at those uh, events and then they plan their trip to Ruston. And the website one more time is? www.louisianapeachfestival.org.